Center for Sustainable Mobility uh, focuses on improving the efficiency of a transportation network while considering other factors, for example, the environmental impacts of that and the safety impact. So we're trying to improve the efficiency while at the same time not causing any detrimental environmental impacts on the transportation network. Yes, so we've done that to different ways, for example, um, uh, retiming traffic signals in order to reduce congestion in a transportation network at the same time improve the safety of the transportation network and at the same time reduce the carbon footprint of the transportation network. And I would say another area that we are unique in is that we have our own simulation softwares that we develop uh, in-house uh, within the center uh, and supporting tools that support that software. So. Um, we use the simulated environment, which is a virtual environment, to test various strategies, algorithms, systems without causing any safety hazard, without causing any uh, major congestion in your network. And then once you're happy with, the, with what you did in the simulation environment, then you can implement it in the field. So when a traffic light turns red, what happens is vehicle will queue up upstream of that traffic light. So a vehicle that is approaching that queue is basically approaching what we call a shockwave because you've got vehicles completely stopped and vehicles are traveling at a higher speed and they have to adjust their speed to slow down to those vehicles. And that's what we call a shockwave. So the less shockwaves you have in your system, the more safer your system is going to be because you, have these, you don't have these transitions from high speeds to low speeds that vehicles have to adjust their speed to. Typically, if you're driving on I-66, suddenly you find you have to slam in your brakes uh, the vehicles ahead of you are slowing down, you have to slam on your brakes, and then suddenly you find you're accelerating. You have no clue what's going on. And so we're trying to smooth the traffic in order to avoid those oscillations in the traffic. Those oscillations cause safety hazards, they cause um, uh, higher vehicle emissions, and at the same time they cause delays in your system because basically drivers have to leave longer gaps between them and the vehicle ahead of them in order to absorb any of these shock waves. So basically you get less vehicles through your system.